Hi and welcome to Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today we will be installing and integrating Nuki into our Home Assistant. We'll start in 10 seconds. Before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. And also thanks everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. Your support really means a lot. And now let's get started with the Nuki installation. Smart Lock is something that I have been thinking of implementing for quite a long time. But I wasn't able to find a device that would suit my needs. First of all, I want this device to be able to integrate inside Home Assistant. And I know there are a couple of vendors that are really easy to integrate. Well, Nuki is one of them. I also looked at some other vendors, but they either didn't provide two-way communication, meaning that not only does the lock provide information or status, is it locked or not locked, but also to work with the EU doors or EU lock systems. And yes, both the doors and locks in the EU and states are a bit different. Even in the EU, there are a couple of standards and you have to be careful when buying any smart lock that this lock will fit your needs or your door. From all of the locks in the world or EU, why did I go for Nuki? Well, first of all, I did look at this device, smart lock, for a couple of times already in past couple of years. Second, I also asked my members on the Discord server, they recommended Nuki and real-life friends also told me that they are using Nuki and Nuki door opener, which is a topic of a later video. But as this is not a review video, I don't do reviews that much, let's talk about the installation process. The installation really is easy. As you can see here, it really took me a couple of minutes to get everything installed. The installation of the lock depends if you can install A plate or B plate. Unfortunately, I had to use B-plate, and B-plate doesn't use screws, it uses self-adhesive tape on the back side to glue it to the door. Which leads me to my inability to glue anything straight, and yes, the lock is a bit crooked. The next step is to install Nuki application. Open the application, accept the privacy policy, press on setup device, Choose Smart Lock, set up Smart Lock, install it if you haven't already, identify yourself by typing a name, enable access to your location, which will be a handy thing to do because it can be used to auto unlock and lock your door. Now activate pairing process by holding the button, the middle button on the lock itself for 5 seconds. And that's it. The lock is now connected, but the next step is to update the firmware. Just follow the screen information to finish the firmware update. And it's done. Give a name to your lock. Select location of your lock. Select what type of door handle you have. I have a lever. That's of course for the outside of the door. You can insert the security code if you want. And start the calibration process with your door unlocked and opened. As you can hear, the door lock is not that quiet which is maybe the only annoying thing about it. Configure to your liking. I selected private. And then you have option to finish other tasks on the checklist. Mine was to set up Nuki bridge, which is needed for the home assistant installation. Connect your bridge to the power grid. Bind the bridge to your phone. Select the Wi-Fi network. You now have to add device. This is your lock that you just added. And that's it. Your front door 
and bridge are connected. I also invite the user. You just enter a name. Select if you want to turn auto unlock or time limited access and create invitation. The invitation that you created can be then sent via email or any chat application. Finish everything for now. I will complete more tasks later. I still needed to enable battery optimization or disable it for the application. This will ensure that the application may run in the background. And the last thing you have to do for the integration is to go to Manage My Devices and Nuki Bridge. The process unfortunately asks you to once again hold the button for 10 seconds until the light starts to flash. This can be a bit annoying, but call this a security feature, because you have to have physical access to the bridge to be able to configure it from your phone. Select bridge, enable HTTP API, write down your IP address, port and the API token. If you want, you can change the token or leave it as is. And that's it. We need this information about the IP address, port and token for the integration inside Home Assistant. If everything is correct, your Home Assistant should be now able to detect the Nuki lock and the setup process there is pretty easy, at least for this type of integration. So let's go to Home Assistant. Let's check notifications and we have new devices discovered. Check it out. And here it is, our Nuki. If it's missing from your newly discovered list, you can try adding it by pressing the plus sign, add integration and typing Nuki. I'll just press configure here. It is now asking me to confirm the IP address, which is correct, port number, which is correct, and I have to enter the access token. And success. Configuration has been created and this is the number of your lock. Let's press finish. If we now scroll down to Nuki, we can see that we have one entry here and it's called front door. Entity is lock.frontdoor. If we go to developer tools, type here lock, we can see that my door is currently unlocked which really is the state of my lock. So let's go to overview, three dots, edit dashboard, and let's add card here, entity, lock, save. And now on the main screen of my home assistant, I have representation with the state of the lock. I can lock it, and I can unlock it. And here are all the attributes Home Assistant currently provides. Yeah, not that much here. And although I do have my lock now inside Home Assistant, I wasn't that happy with this integration. I thought to myself, well, my door also has a smart sensor for the door state, meaning is the door open or closed, that uses just a small magnet which is another topic for another video or maybe next stream, but it does have it. Second of all, there are a lot of other things that I can do with the lock and I cannot do anything from the home assistant, which made me search a bit. Unfortunately, still at the date of recording of this video, there is a pull request, I think five or even six months old, that would greatly improve the integration between Nuki and home assistant, but it hasn't been merged. This integration will not be using pulling state, which this integration here now is using. Instead, it will be using push state, meaning that the Nuki lock itself will send all the events to Home Assistant without the need for Home Assistant to pull the state, which in return is much faster integration. Second, that new integration will give you more information about your Nuki door. Also, it should work with the Nuki opener, it will give information such as is there a new firmware for your bridge, for your lock, what is a more accurate state of the battery, what is the status of the Bluetooth connection between the bridge and your lock, 
Do you have auto lock and go enabled, etc. But if you are impatient, you can already implement that functionality. All you have to do for that is you have to go to community website of the Home Assistant and follow the steps in this link. And if you followed all the steps, in your Home Assistant you should now have a Nuki card that will allow you to take action, show you the state, what is the last activity, ID, friendly name, etc. And if we, for example, use our application to unlock the phone, it should update here. And as you can see, the door is now unlocked and we can lock it from here. You can of course check the state. It is now all up to you. You can use internal Home Assistant integration that is really simple to set up, but unfortunately, at the time of the recording of the video, the only thing you can do is trigger lock or unlock from Home Assistant. Or you can spend 10-15 minutes and follow the steps in the community post that will help you have everything here inside Home Assistant. I really do hope that very soon the pull request will be merged on the GitHub and we will have all of this integration with just simple Home Assistant internal integration. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be trying to integrate Nuki Opener inside Home Assistant too. But this is the topic of one of my next videos. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and that you did find it useful. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, suggestion or idea for this video or any other videos I did, or you would like a video to be recorded, you can always find me on the Discord server. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it means a lot. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.